Milady, it seems I am needed in murky waters. Destiny has brought you here. We must speak. Naturally. I am a goddess. You are the sword of destiny. Death has followed you for years. Perhaps. Accept this gift from the Lady of the Lake. It will help you fulfill your destiny. What gift is that? Kneel, Geralt of Rivia, White Wolf. You traveled a long path fraught with danger. You demonstrated courage and goodness. By divine power, I hereby knight you. Face your enemies without fear. Safeguard the helpless. Never lie, even if it means your death. That is your oath. Arise, a knight. Destiny will give you no rest. A long road lies ahead. I see death and blood. I see frosty chaos. Take this sword as a sign of my favor. Once the blade of a great warrior, it lay in the depths for ages, awaiting your arrival. Milady. Shh, Witcher. It matters not if you believe in destiny. With the blade I present you, you will complete your mission. Thank you, milady. Go, White Wolf, and do what must be done. May you fulfill your destiny. Berenger? I betrayed Kier Moran's location to the Salamandra leader. Then I helped them with their research. I was hunting the beast in the outskirts of Vizima when they captured me. I escaped and ran into Kalkstein, accepting his offer to open the tower in the swamp. That's when they nabbed me again. They weren't as nice the second time around. Finding Alvin, bringing him to them, was the only way I could save my skin. Why are you telling me this? I wanted to tell you to your face. See that famous icy glare of yours. Geralt of Rivia! I've oft heard of your death. Forgive me, but I don't think I've ever heard of yours. White Rayla. What brings you here, Witcher? Slaying monsters. Nothing unusual. Have you seen a unit of elves in the area? No. No units. Watch what you say. You're hardly untouchable. If I discover you working with the Scoyotel... Threatening me? No. Merely helping you to avoid a serious error whose consequences might prove too dire for you to handle. You watch your step too. I'm not some emaciated elf. I can defend myself. I don't doubt it. Know that Vizima is burning. Non-humans have turned it into a war zone. Those poor starving elves are murdering humans by the dozen. My orders are to halt the unit to Ruvialep Shahil commands and I won't have you getting in my way. They're cowering in the village and have taken hostages. We'll attack soon. I'll talk to the elves. Maybe they'll listen to reason. Siegfried vouched for you, so I'll give you a chance. Your intervention at the bank prevented the Scoyotel from gaining gold to buy arms and provisions. Though weak, I doubt they'll heed you. But you never know. Promise them a fair trial if they lay down their arms. I'll try to persuade them. Wait until I return. You have my word. Geralt, why are the elves doing this? They're fighting for their freedom, for an ideal. Humans have them up against the wall and they see no other way. I'll remember that, Geralt. Something bad is about to happen. I can feel it. I've got to talk to Teruviel. Stay here. Geralt, why have you come? 
I've come to prevent a massacre. There will be no massacre if they let us depart. You could have left the children alone. In faith, I could not. White Rayla stands on that shore. Several peasant corpses made no impression on her. The children halted her advance. White Rayla wants you to lay down your arms. She guarantees you a fair trial. You take me for a fool, Witcher. White Rayla exacts only one punishment, death. The unit from Vizima spoke of you. Why should I trust you? Release the peasants, then you can kill each other as you please. I shall release no one. Try any of your tricks and these Dwan will die. And tell that singer to cease lurking behind the house before someone puts an arrow in his ass. Geralt? Dandelion, things have gone from bad to worse. Scoyatel on one side, the Order on the other, and us in the middle with Alvin. One should never negotiate with terrorists. Negotiation leads to concessions. Concessions are a victory for terror. Folks become fearful, uncertain. I chose the lesser evil. The bank's new owners were grateful for the Order's intervention. They agreed to support the crusade against non-humans. We won't need to wait long to see the results. Geralt, what now? Leaving's not an option. You'd make enemies of both the Order and the non-humans. I'm not worried about that. I'd rather save Alvin, but if I go, there could be a massacre, and I have friends to think about. Witcher, this feels like a pivotal moment. What you do will have consequences. So do we grab Alvin and leave them to it? Exactly. What should I do? Find the Fisher King and tell him to be ready. We're going back to Vizima. All right. See you at the lakeside. I want to get Alvin out of here. I can't allow him to be harmed in any way. The little one has come to love you as a son loves a father. We do not kill children. Take him with you. Witcher. What happened? Fucking fanatics, not an ounce of professionalism. They stripped me of my command. When I refused to attack, my adjutant pulled out a letter from Siegfried. Had it all along. Well... How did it go? I decided to stay out of the fight. What of the elves? And I don't care who won. The victors should arrive at any moment. Time to abandon this post. The Fisher King's boat is taken. We'll meet again. Geralt? Berengar. I have his confession. It contains some clues that could be important. Clues? We haven't finished with Salamandra. Azar Javed, the mage who attacked Kaer Morin, is somewhere in Vizima. He feared neither sorcerer nor the hosts of the damned. You're raving, Dandelion. And walked bravely on, his destiny to meet. This is bad, really bad. What happened? Alvin opened a portal and disappeared. He could be anywhere. We need to get back to Vizima. Triss might have some ideas. Vizima it is, then. After you. We arrive in Vizima soon. Hmm. Smell that? Yeah. Smoke. Something's burning. Heavy and stifling. Like thatched roof huts. Damn it, Geralt, look! <laughs> 